So I have this map project I have been working on for quite a while. It's been used as backer paper for projects. Um, so it, I have a, an ultimate plan for this map. Um, so I've got areas taped off that I don't want uh, anything to happen to that I'm going to peel the tape off later. It, it'll, there's going to be a big reveal. That's not what this video is about. But this video is about <laughs> when does a lady change her paint water? A lady changes her paint water when she crosses the yellow line. So as you see, I have gone, I've done my blues, I've done my purples. So I have gone all through the rainbow here and I have crossed the yellow line of the rainbow. So now it's time for me to change my paint water because now if I go into orange and I go to change or go to dip my paint brushes into my water to my paper, I will then alter the course of my project forever. Um, so I kind of wanted to do an example of that on this sheet here. So we're going to take the orange and let's get a little paintbrush here and we're going to just gonna paint some orange. La da 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 and then we're gonna dip it in our paint water and then see it's starting to get that blue tint to it not something I particularly want to happen on my work itself so, because I have now crossed the yellow line of my rainbow, I'm going to change my paint water so that I'm all of my paint water will be full of the red-orange spectrum, and I won't deal with getting blues and greens into my reds and oranges and create this muddy grossness that is coming up in this what should be a bright beautiful orange i'm getting this nasty muddy bluish greenish grossness here so that is kind of my mini lesson on when to change your paint water and making your paint water last a little bit longer instead of changing your paint water like you know after every single use you can kind of use it a little bit longer if you go on the rainbow spectrum rather than just like after every use um you can plan out using your paint water with okay i'm gonna use it through all of my blues and purples and my greens and maybe even a little bit into my yellows and then i can change it and use it into my reds and oranges um or i can use it into my reds and oranges and yellows and then change it and use it into my blue you know kind of doing it that way but change your paint water at the yellow line of the rainbow and that way you can extend the life of your paint water and i also found that if i put a little bit of brush soap in my paint water that um I could clean my brushes as I go rather than um, having, and if you don't have brush soap, put a little bit like a drop, like a teeny tiny drop of dish soap in your paint water and that'll clean your brushes as you go. Um, and then that way you can kind of manage that a little bit longer and not have to change your paint water as often. And you can just kind of have paint water setting for, for days on end without having to get this muddy effect every single time you, you know, 
you want to change colors, instead you can use the, the, the rainbow spectrum. So that's my lesson on that. I hope you've enjoyed this. And I hope that you have a wonderful day and enjoy the weirdness that's going on with this map at the moment. Um, the reveal to come anon. <laughs> Toodles. Much love.